any extra reach, slide up, drop that oar, get locked on, send that boat together. Those hands and body swing together. We're gonna have a little wake here coming at us. Alright, we're pretty much through it. How much time they got left? gentlemen 30 seconds left let's clean up those finishes together hands away good last 30 seconds let that boat do the work for you drop release drop release drop release drop out seven and eight. Let's drop seven and eight out for a minute. All right, gentlemen, right here, they're setting up the boat for you. Let's just work on catching. Nice, light catch. You can look at your oar even. Watch your oars here. Gives us a second to look at our oar if we want to. And feel the catch. So it's kind of like rowing blindfolded because you're looking at your oar and you're trying to feel that boat. Where are you going to catch? After this minute, we're going to add in seven and eight and we'll build to two minutes again, whatever rate. And then the next time we'll, we'll drop out five and six. Go back to regular rowing here, gentlemen. Watching the person in front of you. Deep breath, refocusing. Try to get that timing together while the boat's set here. All right, we're gonna do three to build for two minutes, gentlemen. Nice. All right, gentlemen, lock on. Good. Keep those hands flowing at the finish. Keep those hands flowing at the finish. We have a slight slowdown of the hand speed here. Let's watch it. Watch the person's hands in front of you. Let that boat glide at the finish. There you go, Brian, nice. A little slower on that hand speed away, Matt. Watch Joe in front of you. Trying to let that boat glide for us here at the finish. Let it work for you. 
Let's do let those hands hot hang for a second at the finish. Are you on paddle? Five and six out. 